If you really want to understand where our world's going, there's three terms you want to add to your cocktail vocabulary. And basically that it's to no longer just say AI, but to think of ANI, AGI, and ASI. So first of all, we see AI already in a lot of different ways that you heard mentioned today in different keynotes. There's personal assistants, there's lawyers, doctors, autonomous drivers, investors, facial recognition, all that wonderful stuff. But uh, it's already been around for some amount of time already. So we're not going to get too deep in it because where I'm going to really be pushing in the super future is what happens in 7 to 15 years from now when we reach artificial general intelligence. Artificial general intelligence is the idea that one system could actually do pretty much anything that a human could. So it's not having a specialist AI doctor over here or an AI lawyer over here that's all a different robot. It's one system that you could almost interact with like a human that could help you in any potential way. As we start to get smarter and try to think about how our systems are developed, uh, there's one cartoon I saw that really helps articulate it the best. And it's that right now we see AI happening and we're like looking at it thinking, wow, that funny robot can do you know, monkey tricks. And we think about AI kind of in that world. What we're not really prepared for is to understand that 7 to 15 years from now, we will reach a day where AI reaches the level of what you might consider a dumb human. And you'll still be like, oh, it's not bad, but it still makes mistakes. The weird part is when it reaches that particular day, the next day it reaches the level of Einstein, and the day after that <laughs> is a little bit different. And uh, this is particularly why AI is the most important thing for each of you to study, even if you might not consider yourself a technologist, because this sort of warps every aspect of human life. The factors that limit or accelerate us getting to AGI would be power, data, and intelligence. The first two are really simple, the third one is more complex. Just to put it in perspective, the IBM Summit is already much, much faster and more complex than what a human brain could do in possibly every single way. So this idea of power and performance has already been solved. To put it this way, if every person on the Earth completed one calculation per second, everyone on Earth, all seven billion of us, one calculation per second, it would take us 305 days to catch up to what the Summit could do in a single second. So the best way to kind of internalize that this is not what is impeding us from getting to AI. That's kind of why I put that there. When it comes to data, imagine that more data was created in this year than in the last 5,000 years, but humans have only been able to analyze half a percent of it. So data is also not the limiter to AI reaching artificial general intelligence. In fact, if you were a computer with AI capabilities plugged into the internet today, you would have every language, fact, Wikipedia page, math, formula, physics equation, bioengineering feed, piece of news, trending data, market best practice, neuropsychological insight on how to manipulate and persuade people, and every hacked email and about 7 billion uh, emails so far, every stock market technical and info and every person in this room, if not the entire planet. That's a lot of data, so AI is not limited by that. So really, the only mystery that's trying to be solved is how to make a system that could teach itself more intelligently. And effectively, there are people trying in every possible category. Uh, some are trying to recreate what a human brain's exact structure might look like. Some are hoping that training a computer to train a computer to train a computer gets us to a further spot. And in short, billions and billions of dollars this year is being poured into the attempts to get to this feat alone. So with that said then, let's uh, just note that artificial super intelligence is if you fast forward a little bit more, it's very difficult to imagine that 10 or 15 years from now you have a human-like computer that can do everything we can do at paces that are millions of times faster with access to every piece of information instantly. That's a very difficult thing to comprehend. But once a system's at that level and it's training itself and you advance another 10 or 20 years, it gets to a part that humans actually can't understand. We can't even get there and it's uncomfortable, uh, but effectively an ASI, one system, will reign supreme. At that level, pretty much all AI scientists agree there is only one system in the world.